Hello, welcome to my home lab. In this video, we continue the configuration from Open Media Vault with SMB. We create and test the server message block. We start in our browser and open the Open Media Vault dashboard. As you can see, for the moment we have NFS from our last video and SSH. This in this video we do SMB. Go to services, SMB, settings. The only thing we need to do here is enable SMB. Click enable, go down, and save. Apply. Yes. SMB is now enabled and we can continue the configuration. The next step is to create the shared folder. You see the shared folders from last videos. We go here, create, name, SMB share. You can choose whatever you want. File system, how we choose disk 2. We do administrator read write, users read write, others no access to secure our share. Tax SMB. Save it. Apply like usual. Yes. Again, that can take some time. And the share is ready. The next step is to create a user. For our share, we go to settings here, user home directory. For now, we don't need that. Users, create new user, create name, SFB, user, email for the moment, we don't need that. Password, confirm the password. Shell, that's okay. Groups, we select user. Users. This allow account modification. We select it and do save. Again, like usual, apply. Yes. We wait a little bit. And the user is created. The last step is to configure the SMB share. Go to SMB, shares, create new one, select shared folder. We select SMB share, we created before, comment, SMB, public, for the moment, no, we can choose Guest allowed and guest only, but for now we do no. Read only, we leave like that. All the rest, we choose the default and save. Apply like usual. Yes. Again, can take some time. And the share is ready. Now we can go to Windows and test SMB. Now we go to Windows Explorer. The IP address from our server. Plus SMB share. Now we need to give the username and password. SMB user. Password. And OK. And we are in our share. Now we create a map. Test. Open the map and create a text. Also test. We open it. Give the test. 
SMB test on Windows and save it. Now we go to PowerShell and do SSH to our server. Password. Go to the root. LS. Now we go to SRV. And LS. And now we go to this one. Yes. and we see our share open it yes test and ls and we see our text we open it and you see we have the test. S and B on Linux. Close it. Of course, save it first. Yes. You remove this one. Okay. And you see everything working perfectly. That was it for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and do a thumbs up. And see you next time. Thank you very much.